with CBSC and CRT solutions chapter 5 arithmetic progressions exercise 5.3 question number 18 the problem is a spiral is made up of successive semicircles with centers alternatively at A and B starting with center at A of radius 0.5 cm 1 cm 1.5 cm 2 cm and so on what is the total length of such a spiral made up of 13 consecutive semicircles so basically the spiral is made up of semicircles and center starts at point A and radius of such a semicircle is equal to 0 0.5 cm and in the next semicircle the center is at point B and radius of that semicircle is 1 cm and then again center is at point A and radius of that semicircle would be at 1.5 cm and it goes on like that. Now let's proceed through solution. So circumference of we can say circumference or length of first semicircle. So I will write circumference of first semicircle is equal to pi r let's write r1 the value of r1 here is 0 0.5 centimeter so circumference of first semicircle would be equal to pi times 0 0.5 centimeter because it's given that the radius of that semicircle would be 0 0.5 <coughs> we should know that circumference of complete circle is equal to 2 pi r and uh, circumference of semicircle is equal to 2 pi r divided by 2 so this 2 and 2 gets cancelled and we get circumference of semicircle equal to pi r that's why I have written pi r here similarly circumference of second semicircle would be equal to pi times 1 centimeter because it's given that radius of that semicircle would be 1 centimeter now circumference of third semicircle would be equal to pi term times 1.5 centimeter and it goes on like that for 13 consecutive semicircles now we want to find the length of spiral which is made up of 13 semicircles so length of spiral would be equal to pi times 0 0.5 centimeter plus this plus this up to 13 terms 0 0.5 plus pi 1 plus pi 1.5 and so on up to 13 terms now we can take pi common from all these 13 terms let's take pi common so I get here 0 0.5 plus 1 plus 1.5 plus up to 13 terms so all the this answer would be in centimeter and let's write centimeter here too now clearly the thing here in the brackets is an arithmetic progression where the first term is 0 0.5 and the common difference is 0 0.52 and number of terms is equal to 13 let's find the sum of this arithmetic progression now we have a formula to find sum of n terms of any given arithmetic progression and the formula is n divided by 2 2a plus n minus 1 times d here n is equal to 13 because we have 13 terms and 2 times a a is the first term and first term is 0 0.5 and n is 13 again minus 1 times d d is the common difference it's 0 0.5 so I get here 13 divided by 2 2 times 0 0.5 is 1 and 13 minus 1 is 12 and 12 times 0 0.5 is 6 here so I get here 13 divided by 2 times 7 now I can substitute this whole thing right here so I'll get here answer pi times 13 divided by 2 times 7 centimeter now I can substitute the value of pi here and it's given in the question to use pi is equal to 22 divided by 7 so 22 divided by 7 times 13 divided by 2 times 7 and this 7 and 7 gets cancelled this 2 gets cancelled with this 22 I get 11 here and 13 times 11 is 143 and answer would be in centimeters.
So the length of the spiral which is made up of 13 consecutive semicircles is equal to 143 cm. So that's about question number 18, chapter 5 arithmetic progressions, exercise 5.3. The next video I'll be covering question number 19, chapter 5 arithmetic progressions, exercise 5.3. See you guys.